Turn right after a quarter of a mile. Bloody car now. So we had a bit of a late start. Well, not a late start, but we're running late to get to Universal. I didn't even get out of bed, so whatever. I said about 7 30. No, you weren't. I was. You're full of shit. I woke up at 7 30. I was at the, uh, the gift no. shop at 7 30. So, mm. Turn right anyway. after 900 feet onto West Magic Way. I went searching for these glass pumpkins. Which. Oh, the drama's pumpkins. Anyway. So we're on our way to Universal. And for Halloween Horror Nights, it is, today is the hottest day that we have been here apparently. It's going to be 41 degrees outside. I am not a big fan of rides, so I will be no doubt standing in this sun for most of the day. And I will be sad by Horror Nights, I reckon. But we'll see how we go. Anyway, uh, yeah, so any, any updates, Shannon? None? No. He's still sick. As you can probably hear by the snorting. Okay, so we've made it to Universal Studios after a horrendous car ride with traffic jam after traffic jam after traffic jam after traffic jam. After traffic jam. But that's LA for you. Um, the good people at Universal Studios in Hollywood were good enough to put us onto their. 11 o'clock tour, so an hour and 15 minutes after we were meant to be here, so that's pretty good. Uh, also worked out the whole valet parking thing, so that's good too. I have orange juice now, that's good as well. Um, what else is good, Boof? Free Wi-Fi. Boof's found free Wi-Fi, so that's good too. And the fact that it's not as hot as I thought it would be. She says because it's not as hot yet, but we're sitting in an air-conditioned room. <laughs> Even more than here, it was 35 degrees instead of 40 yet. That's better than what I thought. True. But maybe, maybe the temperatures might be different because we're so high up as well. Oh, well, maybe, yeah. Oh, yeah, hang on, that was We don't know the temperature of here now. We're going to find out. What is it? Currently, Anaheim is 39. Anaheim, it's 39 degrees. Universal City, where we are? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's 32 degrees here. Oh, goody. Yeah. Yeah. Orange juice is good for you, right? Especially when you're sick. And uh, I would suggest walking over the other side. Just kind of brace yourself a little bit, just in case. Now, if you're looking for the DeLorean from Back to the Future, it used to be over here, but we had an issue. You see, people that were working on the lot kept trying to sneak over here, get a picture with the DeLorean, and then they tried to take a piece of the DeLorean with them as a souvenir. We had to take the whole thing to fix it. It took us almost two years to do that. We actually had it under glass for a long time, but now it's at the Peterson Auto Museum. If you're a big car fan, go over there, check it out. They have a great exhibit on uh, Ferraris right now. Yeah. Now, we can't talk about cars without talking about Fast and the Furious. Josh, have you ever seen a Fast and the Furious movie? Not yet? Okay. You get a little older, you start to see those. Fast and the Furious, of course, known for their cars. And the thing to keep in mind, Fast and the Furious 7, when that came out in theaters, that became the highest opening weekend in the history of filmmaking. It became the fastest movie ever to make a billion dollars. It took them 16 days. They held that record for a couple weeks until a uh, movie called Jurassic World came out. And then that made a billion dollars in 13 days. They held the record for a couple months until a, a little movie called Star Wars came out. Whatever, Star Wars. We're, we're bitter here at Universal about Star Wars for one reason. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I think some of you missed that. We're gonna back it up, we're gonna do it again. Yeah, yeah. You know why we're gonna do this one more time? is because each time Josh's dad keeps using it as a shield to block the water. That's very nice. You might have thought that was water, but it's not. No, it's not. It's acid. It cleans the pores. By the way, one time I was doing a, a VIP tour, and there was a, a big group of family. I feel like you're back home. A little rain or a lot of rain? Yeah. All right, Josh answered for you. A lot of rain. All the way up four, please. Yeah, thank you. Here's a rain. Oh, yeah. 
Our rain is simply an overhead sprinkler system out of the camera's view. It shoots the water up in the air and then it falls down naturally like falling rain. What do you guys think? Does it look good? Yeah. Do our friends from Seattle feel like they're back home now? Too much rain for you. See, that's the thing. You guys don't really get a lot of rain. In fact, we get very little rain here in LA and we run into an issue. The rain looks good when they're filming, but if we leave it on for too long, it does lead to flash floods like the one that sits right for us. Remember, if you're in a blue seat, you will be getting wet, but only if you're one of the blue seats on the left. You're welcome. Yeah. Here it comes. This flash flood here is produced by using thousands of gallons of recycled <laughs> water that are pumped at the top of the building. Oh, for Pete's sake. Uh. All of that for that joke, you're welcome. Now we're going to hide behind gasoline tanks. This is the safest place to be in an emergency. This protects us from the walkers. Alright, now there's a yellow barrel out there. We attach the bait to that barrel and we attach that barrel to the dock. This is what it's going to feel in about an hour and a half. There we go. It's going to be a nice hot day. Gotta take a look at the yellow barrel in the distance. I can see him. Candy Graham. Pizza delivery. No, ma'am. This is a land shark. Alright, I'm going to ask you guys a question. Once again, I see people using their loved ones as shields. That's very nice. Now you guys, here's a simple question for you. If you know the answer, yell it out. First again, I sat down and talked about the war of the world. I thought, what if the 747 goes down right in a big neighborhood? Because it's, it's just something you don't see. You're doing good. 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 Get in. Now, the question we always get, is the airplane here real or is the airplane here fake? I'm going to ask you guys a question. Raise your hands. Who thinks it's real? Who thinks it's fake? Who thinks it's really fake? Yeah, it's a real airplane. They bought it from a plane graveyard in the Mojave Desert, then shipped it over here. The cost of buying the plane, $60,000. The value of the scrap metal. The cost to bring it here, $230,000. It's always the shipping and handling that gets you to I don't know why they didn't get on eBay or Amazon. Amazon gets you free two-day shipping. So that would have been a lot easier to do. What did we just do? Jurassic Park. Wet. Uh, we have chosen not to do Transformers because it makes us sick. Not just me, also him. So that should tell you how intense that ride is. No, I'm not doing Transformers because it does make me sick, but if I'm going to get sick on one motion sickness ride, it's going to be the Simpsons. It's not going to be this one. And we have seen a lot of the Halloween mazes in the daytime, and oh my god. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not prepared. I didn't mentally bring myself. No, I think this is going to be a lot worse than... Uh, this is going to be a lot worse than Orlando. Like, Oh, this is Bobby out here, guys. Sweet. Ready? At this point, I must ask all of you to remain in your seats for the duration of the stunt. Skyla, the set is yours. Jay, are you ready? Ready. Jay, are you ready? Ready. Ready and action. Lighting. You're lit. Okay, panic. <laughs> 
penniless found him <laughs> and we're back found Shannon all good <laughs> and this is Harry Potter world everyone's playing with wands and butterbeer and cool stuff now we're going to go and check in for the uh, RIP um, night also we've just before on the tour we did the Walking Dead <laughs> ride that was Shannon not the Walking Dead ride and oh my god it walking was dead, so scary Walking Dead walkthrough and experience and it was the child here. version yeah it's the one that's here all the time and it, yes so and basically they said to us well this is the child's version it's nothing like what you're gonna do tonight also this one they've said is worse than Florida We're at Simpson Burn, Crusty Burger, Pizza. Love Crusty Burger. Burger. Oh, I wonder if there's a stupid witch. Huh? Homer goes on the oh, oh, <laughs> So they've turned Moe's into a proper bar when usually it is for lunch. <laughs> Hello, Mo Seven. Hello, I'd like to speak to you. And there's the quickie mark and the ride is over there. It's horrific though. Bizarre, you can't breathe anyway. <laughs> okay, so out of all the houses, we've done every single one except for The Shining, which we'll, we'll, we're gonna go do. Um, we haven't been able to take um, videos in any of the houses. The, the other thing that we're discovering is we are both incredibly sore because we we done an entire VIP tour today and then we also have done an RIP tour which by the way VIP tour best money ever spent highly recommend it the RIP tour on Halloween Horror Nights here at Hollywood I wouldn't recommend it you're honestly just better getting a front of the line ticket and supplying your own food because that's all that's different you don't get any special treatment you just get front of the line and somebody walks you around which it's pretty easy to find where everything is in here so but anyway reason for this video is more so for a reminder to my dear wife who books all of these wonderful experiences that we do all right she booked the VIP tour, fantastic, really fantastic. But then also book the RIP tour on the same day. It's a big fucking day. And I said to her, I said, Pumpkin, Pumpkin, please, please, for the love of God, next time you're booking something, I want you to remember this pain that you're feeling right now and think again. Please, please do that for me. Please. 
Hopefully next time I won't be as crook as a dog either, but time will tell. <laughs>